The Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations supports the Ministry of Agriculture, Water and Land Reform in the fight against the contagious bovine pleuropin pneumonia. The training follows an outbreak of the contagious bovine pleuropin pneumonia known as animal lung sickness two years ago. The outbreak caused major losses to the farmers in the northern communal areas. Dr. Paul said a representative from the state veterinary services said training will be offered to different villages to mitigate the disease impact on livestock health. It's to come to the region and to impart, to capacitate the farmers on how to identify some uh, 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 disease, this, this disease, how to identify the clinical signs uh, related to contagious bovine pleural pneumonia, lung sickness. Um, what we're trying to, to, to impart on the farmers is the concept of early detection, early, early response. So the earlier you can detect this uh, disease, the earlier we can respond, and the less the effects of the outbreak. Uh, contagious bovine pleural pneumonia is a disease of economic importance in Namibia because we vaccinate yearly against uh, CPPP, the vaccines. Uh, uh, vac vaccines are carried out throughout the whole eight regions in the northern communal areas in our, in our country. Uh, very important to note is that uh, with CBPP um, in areas such as uh, Kavango West, we have uh, outbreaks from time to time. Dr. Seth says the training is also meant to help farmers look at their profession as worth more than the basic consumption. The headman of Tara Village, Sabinus Gaveto, applauded the ministry's efforts. Yeah, Simu at Kukwama. One thing we follow is information from veterinary, but there is still a level of ignorance, especially towards vaccination. They don't bring their cattle for vaccination, but we are trying to motivate them. It looks like a very good meeting. It will educate farmers. If such meetings are held in different communities, it will build and motivate and encourage livestock farmers to get the right information on how to breed their livestock. Farmers, welcome to the development. This year I lost about six cattle. This motivated me to come attend this meeting at Ntara for me to be educated on how I can early detect disease in my animals. We really need this kind of education. They should do this often. It will help us know and detect disease that are finishing our cattle. What I see here today from our visitors, they brought us good news. It looks like if they could have done this earlier, we could be educated because we do not even know where to go to get help for our cattle. Our livestock are just dying in the bush. Meanwhile, we have the people that can teach us on what to do. I just want to say thank you for visiting us and they should continue educating us. Elizabeth Mwengo, NBC News, Tara.